Hello fellow builders, welcome to the channel. I'm going to try to make this as quick as I can. Two links down below in the description box, one for Cheat Engine, the other one for Fearless Revolution, where you're going to get the file that you can just load into the Cheat Engine so that you can just do what you want. So if you're on Windows, click on this link. If you're on Mac, click here. On this web page, scroll down a little bit and click at the top one, the latest attachment. Download them, put them in a folder where you know, run the cheat engine, install it, get it going. Make sure you've got the game already running as well. I just find that sometimes it's a little bit glitchy and it doesn't always work. And if that's the case, close the game and start it up again. So when you start cheat engine, go to the yellow folder. Go to where you downloaded the u.ct file. Double click it. Click yes. There's the game here. Don't click anything. This could screw it up. The glowing green icon here that goes glowing red, click on that and double click on Dragon Quest Builders 2. Click yes. Now go down below, click it, and click enable. Now if you go to scripts by Impella PUA, you can do things like XP multiplier, damage multiplier. You could do that on your own. You could run scripts. Always max hunger, infinite hit points, always max attack 999. You get the idea, quick cook times and all that. Then you can go to pointers. You can go to things like, you know, your your midi metals and all that kind of stuff. So what you would do is you would double click in the value column right on the number. And you would do something like, I don't know, 7777. Seven, 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 and click OK. Gratitude points. Let's do the same thing, 7777. Seven, seven. Make sure that you actually exit right here by checking it off. You can change your current hit point and all that stuff. Inventory item ID pointers is really fun. You've got 15 quick slots, right, when you're in the game. Right now, I've got these items here. Water of Life is actually something that you can't delete. Sometimes I was duplicating items. And you just can't delete them. And if you discard them, they stay around in your world forever, it seems. So what we're actually going to do is replace it. That's one way to get rid of an item that's stubborn. So go ahead and X on that. We'll do uh, number 9, actually. So double-click on this, right on the name, so that it brings this up. Change the value by clicking on the arrow going down. And here you have it, folks. Every single item in the game. This can also be used to give your friends extra tools, you know, like the flute, the hammer, the, you know, the flute, the fishing rod, you know, the, the chisel, the pencil. I can't think of everything off the top of my head. That's all in here. So if you wanted like the gloves, see, there's the echo flute right there. You could just give yourself anything that you want. If you want Edric's sword, like literally anything. So we're just going to go ahead and pick, oh, I don't know, some moonfish to replace that water of life. But before we do that, I want to show you what it looks like in game. See, I've got the gold brick and I've got the water of life. I can't use that anymore. I had a cheat that was giving me a maximum stack. So we're going to go ahead and accept it. Now it's Moonfish. We can go into the game, see? Now it's Moonfish. So that's pretty cool. Now at this point, if you wanted to, you could push down, put it in your bag, you know, go to the Moonfish, right? And then just, like, delete it. Because, like I said, there's some things you can't delete, like, you know, the Builder's Workbench. It's very odd why it works out that way. You'll notice that when we go back to the top, it's still there. Every time we push down, it's still there because you have the cheat engine X'd out or X'd off. You have to uncheck it, go back into the game. Now, when we push down, see, it's completely gone. So that's how you do that. And that's really pretty much everything. Like I said, the main tools in the game is magic pencil, gloves. I always get a Warhammer and an ulti. Matum, whatever the hell it's called. Mallet. Water-filled bottomless pot. The Echo Flute. The Transformer Travel. The Chisel. 
the fishing rod. Now, I use this one because this one actually destroys the blocks, in case you're not too familiar with the game. When you use this mallet right here, the ulti mallet, it's technically better, like a tier up. What it actually does is preserves the item. So if you smack like a broken barrel, it won't give you like scrap. It'll actually give you what you hit. So it could be quite a useful tool, but you can only use one at a time. So I keep that one here in my bags. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there's just literally nothing else to really talk about. Really. Like I over here made a chest so that if I ever have one of my friends come over, see? I literally have one of every tool. Because when you play multiplayer, as we all know, you can't bring over anything and you can't bring anything back to your world. So when you go to someone's world or they come to yours, they're naked. They literally have nothing. So why not have a chest and give them a spare one of these so that they can at least feel like they have some control and then watch them completely mutilate your world. It's really simple. It's awesome. I love it. I'm glad that I found uh, this cheat engine. I had watched another tutorial but I felt like it was kind of lacking. It was a little bit confusing. It took like six or seven minutes to kind of start explaining this, and it was really annoying. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about, which is so simple. Yeah, see like the mini medals and the gratitude points, how I set those at, you know, a bunch of sevens, because that could be important. Let's actually go ahead and show you that. So right now I'm at 4,719. Uh metals. Malroth is a really annoying bastard. I'm gonna see if I can show you. As soon as you interact with one of the hearts, do you know what I mean? It's like one of those things where you've gotta trigger it that way. It'll uh, update the number. But I mean, I have no reason to make this up. But I'm hoping that I can prove it to you that it works. I mean, it does, because I'm telling you it does. There we go. So watch it. 4,719. See what just happened there? And it shot me right up to 7793. Because apparently I picked up like 20 or whatever. But you get the idea, right? It's... It really... It really does work. And what's the other thing? And then the coins. 34,748 mini medals at the top there. There's that. So that you know that that works. I think that's the mini medals? Yeah, the mini medals. It says 777, but I had like 30,000. Because I, I went crazy with the number. So just play around with that. It's really straightforward, like I said. When you want to get rid of something, put it in the quick slot, pick like a food item, something that you can literally delete. And that's pretty much it. If you have any further questions, I'm not an expert at this. I just started playing around with this like 15 minutes ago. You can ask me a question. I can see if, if I can help you out if you're stuck. So if you like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. It greatly helps support the channel with the algorithm and making it more relevant in the search results. When people are looking shit up on the internet. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. And I'll make sure every time you go to add something, you'll lose something somewhere else. And you don't know what it is until like later. And it drives you crazy. And you can never get that item back because it ends up in my inventory. But if you want to subscribe to the channel, maybe we can work something out. And if not, well, that's on you. And for the rest of you, thanks for stopping by. Take care. And maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.